Hi, my name is Tamika Fletcher and I am one of the owners of Natural Resources Salon and one of the creators of Earth's Nectar Products. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to care for a little girl's afro. Now that I'm a big girl with an afro, I can tell you just a little bit about how to take care of a little girl's afro. You know, some of the things that come to mind first is the way we cleanse our hair. Shampooing is extremely important. Not only shampooing, but to make sure that the products that you use for shampooing are appropriate. What we like to use at Natural Resources Salon is sulfate-free shampoos. Sulfate-free shampoos are good to keep the hair from drying out and to maintain moisture after the shampoo. One other thing that's really important is to detangle properly. Joy can tell you that it's not that great when your hair is really tangled and the person that's detangling the hair is not being careful, but not only not being careful, but not using cream-based products. And so we like to use cream-based products because it has a little bit of water in it, there's a little bit of oil in it, and both those things work together for detangling. The next thing to keep in mind is they have an opinion. It's a good idea, especially at this age, Joy is six, and even though she wants to be seven soon, she's still six years old and it's very important to make sure that you get her opinion. She absolutely has an opinion about the style she likes and what she wants to look like. We have our hair divided into two parts because it's also a time saver if you're able to stretch the hair and there are two different ways to do it. You can stretch the hair with a blow dryer and on this side we've blown the hair straight and put it into a flat twist but as you can see just the detangling alone or even to take the twist down is really, really easy when the hair has been properly detangled. The next thing to consider is if you start with wet hair, you can always stretch the hair with a twist or with a braid. On this side, we've stretched the hair with a two strand twist. As you can see, when stretched, it's just as long as the other side, but when it's not stretched, it's just a little bit shorter. But the general idea is that the hair is still stretch and easy to detangle. This will help you get through some busy mornings. When you have to go to work and she has to go to school, it's really important to make sure that you do things that are time savers. Products are also really important. Make sure that they're products that you both like. If she doesn't like the smell of peppermint and you don't like the smell of coconut, then maybe you can find something that you both like. But the most important thing is to find products that detangle, that you can leave in, and that work well for everyday moisture. It's also important to make sure that you pick a good time for styling. Don't pick a time when she's sleepy and you're tired. Make sure that you pick a time that makes sense for the both of you. Protective styles are my favorite ways to take care of a little girl's hair. We usually have clients that come into the salon every four weeks and they're able to bring their children in once a month because they do protective styling. Protective styling just basically means that there aren't any, there's not a lot of maintenance to go with this style. So if you don't want to have a lot of maintenance first thing in the morning, it's good to do a protective style like a two strand twist or a cornrow that's not putting too much tension on the hairline. This also helps keep the hair detangled and it keeps the hair really soft and moisturized. So I hope those tips help you. Those are just a few tips on how to get out of the door in the morning and to take care of your little girl's afro properly.